Hello my beautiful Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Petas of Light 1111. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning subscribers, welcome back. This reading is for my lovely, beautiful Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Thank you God, thank you universe, universal energies, Holy Spirit, Archangels, Ascended Masters. Please give my lovely, beautiful Scorpio a clean, precise, honest message for the highest good. Alright Scorpio, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe button, the notification bell below. If you are returning subscribers, welcome back. I do appreciate each and every one of you that are supporting my channel. I'm grateful and thankful. I'm sending lots of love, no beginning and prosperity your way. Energies are fluid. This reading may or may not resonate with you. If it's not resonate, please check out your other birth chart placement for more clarity. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you and your love life. So, I'm hearing I told you so. I don't know what that means. Yes, spiritual strength at the bottom. I'm hearing I told you so. So for some of you, uh oh. I don't know what is <laughs> just knocking stuff. Damn. Okay, Scorpio. What are you throwing? Some of you might be uh anxious, nervous, throwing stuff out. Okay. We have spiritual strength at the bottom. Someone if you could be. Uh, become an ascended masters either you or someone you guys are dealing with i feel like someone here might be um ascend spiritually they have a lot of yeah we have here someone is ascended because we have truth here there's definitely some type of uh the universe is balancing the scale out uh, that's what I'm getting here. So someone in here is getting some type of graduation spiritually. Graduated spiritually. Holy Spirit ancestors, may I have two cards please for my lovely Scorpio? So we have we have the universe here. So number 21, we know this is the world here. This is a cycle that's in it, but we also have harmony. So we have number six. So something in here is ended. So you guys should be at peace. You guys should be in harmony with yourself because the cycle closed. There's definitely loves coming for you. Oh, Scorpio. Remember this um, harmony here? This, is, this could be the lovers because this is a six. So this person might be a twin flame or soulmate that's coming towards you. But this person, a heart is on fire when it's coming to you. So you guys have a cycle, but you got no beginning here. could be in the love department. Just remember that some cycle here is closed. Someone heart is on fire when it's come to you. May I have to cause all this or your heart is on fire when it's come to you guys. Uh, also might be open your heart when it's come to love male or female doesn't have to be may I have two cards please for the person Scorpio may or may not dealing with so we have sequel chakra we have patience some the some of you uh, might be dealing with someone their sequel chakra might be black at this time but someone need to be patient because I feel like someone creativity here number two could be black there's a need for balance there's a need there's someone need to be patient here um for to realign with the creativity you know um because someone in here might not be able to bring their creativity you know to the full front to the surface here that's what i'm getting but there's nothing wrong with that though We have rest and rejuvenate. Memory of love. This is another six. We have the waiting game. Something need to put to rest because it's over, it's done with. Give me two cards, please, for Scorpio, Holy Spirit, ancestors, please. Two cards for um, the person Scorpio is dealing with. 
so we have if you could i left you before you could leave me some of you could leave somebody out in the cold find out the truth crushes me so whomever you guys are dealing with they find some type of truth and they kind of um they are in their feelings I want to be more than friends yeah someone here wants to be more than friends with you uh scorpio and whatever they find out that whatever the truth they find out here i feel like this person is in pain i have behind material things you guys might be dealing with someone that is very materialistic give me two cards please for the person scorpio may or may not dealing with some of you are not physically dealing with people. Release your ex wedding. Some of you might be dealing with a couple. Someone that is, someone in here is, some of you might be dealing with someone that is in a relationship that is married. And for some of you, there's someone that need to release an ex. Or they need to release you. Wow. Flirt at the bottom. Extending your lighthearted energy to others. Holy Spirit ancestors, may I have three cards, please, for the person Scorpio? May or may not deal with. We have this earth sign two of wands we have this earth sign that's coming out in every reading so you guys might be dealing with an earth sign that's you know this giving you that this person might be wanting giving you some type of money or they want some type of money from you they want giving and receiving with you here six of pentacles yeah someone might be wants to give some type of money or they want some type of money from you. Take it as it was in it. I feel like somebody, someone here also want to come towards you with the two of wands. And for some of you, this is someone is, is want someone to uh, make a decision here. So for this person need to make some type of decision, choose a door, choose a path here. Holy Spirit and sisters, may I have to wake up please for Scorpio. The person Scorpio is dealing with. star some of you dealing with an aquarius page of wands and we have five of swords i mean we have nine of swords so this so for some of you you might be communicate i feel like there's some type of message you guys might be you know having back and forth communication with an aquarius here nine of swords but this person is having some type of nightmare i'm getting in here you guys might be dealing with an aquarius and this person is they say that's what i'm hearing here this person is a nightmare they might be maybe they're having nightmares maybe they're having whatever they are doing but this is someone that is ruthless that's what i'm getting here and for some of you um with the page of one here and this star you guys might be dealing with you know someone that have the star quality maybe an influencer they in the public eye this person also might be you know a healer they are very really enlightenment very uh a chosen a chosen one a light being i'm hearing a light being you have to request this for the person in scorpio may or may not dealing with okay so we have a tower moment some some of you Scorpio, you might be you might be kind of shocked because you like uh, how strong somebody is. That's what I'm hearing. Give me one more question for the person Scorpio is dealing with. We have Queen of Pentacles and Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Yeah, I'm hearing that you guys kind of like shocked to know how strong we have. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles here. 
they could be these two people could be in some type of partnership or they have like maybe same kind of birth chart and these two people could have same kind of birth chart or they have some type of partnership or relationship with each other what is now or what is in the past may i have three more cards please for the person scorpio may or may not dealing with We have Ten of Wands. King of Wands, Ten of Wands, and we have uh, Three of Cups. So there's a third party here. We can see that. We have a Fire sign, an Earth sign, and a Queen of Pentacles. Someone in here could be, because we have the lovers here, someone in here could be dealing with two people, or so they'd say. Someone in here feel like whatever this third party here for them, it's a burden. The king of wands could be feeling like, they, the king of wands could be very attracted to you, but they felt like it's a burden because they have to deal with the third party here. Five of cups, yeah, six of wands. Someone is intentions is to be uh, someone intention here with the seven of cups here is to be victorious, right? Like someone felt like they wish they will be victorious. They want to be vic they, they want to have victory here by making creating some type of confusion here. But at the same time, this person this is someone that feeling victimized there and their feelings. Someone here need to heal because I feel like someone in here is like so convince themselves here with like having some type of victory but it's like bringing them more confusion the death card it could be a scorpio or leo whatever this person is wishing here they might be not going it might not be granted for them clarify this star please for scorpio yeah we have a tower so someone in here about to have whomever this um it could be an Aquarius, like I say, they are about to have whomever you guys are dealing with, someone in here about to have a shocking tower moment, but it's going to lead to a new beginning. What is the ace of wands? What is this ace of wands? And yeah, ten of wands, someone will be able to drop a burden. Okay. Someone is going to have a new beginning and they're going to drop a burden. Whatever that's ab about to happen for this star here, they're finally going to have a new beginning and dropping um, a burden here. There might be a new opportunity that's coming for this person unexpectedly. A new job, a new business, a new idea. But I'm I'm hearing shocking. Whatever this is, is going to be is going to be shocking because we have the tower here twice, Scorpio. What is the tower? Let's clarify this tower here because we have the tower here twice. King of Swords. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What is the King of Swords? What's the shocking here? What is the King of Swords? <laughs> the Ten Points. Oh, wow. So, I feel like some type of drama, some type of chaos is about to come to balance. Yeah, whatever this is, is going to be shocking for everybody. It's going to be shocking because I feel like this the 10 points here, we have King of Swords, the 10 points. I feel like something in here is about to be balanced, healed. Someone in here going to have a shocking, <laughs> this is going to be shocking. Could be an air sign, could be someone in authority, doesn't have to be. But something is here is about to bring balance. It's gonna, uh, there's going to be heal, peace, harmony. Whatever this star, or whatever this, um, because the King of Swords bring clarity. They talk, they say something. Whatever this information, this King of Swords is bringing, is gonna bring some type of balance, peace, and harmony. So it's gonna be shocking, but it's gonna bring happiness. Clarify the temperance.
Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody he might be getting some type of no beginning, no money. That's what I said to you guys. Some type of money here. You guys might be getting some type of money, some type of opportunity here. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Coins, please. The High Priestess. So whomever this earth sign, this person is the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess. We have this star. Somebody he might be um whomever this is. The High Priestess is a divine being. Okay, this is a healer. Someone here could be a healer. It could be, again, it could be an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. It could be Aquarius, Pisces, um, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But I'm feeling here, someone in here going to be, um, they might be challenging their studies, their healings. What is the stars a challenge, please, for this person? Okay, because of the justice, because of something here that has to do with justice. What is the justice system here? What is the Libra here? Why is the Libra here for the star? Nine of Wands. Someone is black. I feel like we have that for so many for so many people here. I feel like the justice is trying to blacking the star here. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, the star, someone in here that, you know, could be, you know, the justice that's trying to blacking, the, blacking somebody here. What is the nine of wands? So it could be legality, some something in the government, somebody in the justice system that's trying to black somebody here. What is the nine of wands? Yeah, that try to block someone from moving on, from moving forward here. That's right. That stop somebody from. Oh wow! So a tarot, So if you're a tarot reader, let's just say you are a tarot reader. So the legal, the justice system is trying to blocking from somebody here from from speaking because we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse, Eight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, try to block someone. Uh, for moving forwards, of course. Yeah, okay, clarify the King of Pentacles. We have Six of Cups. We also have the Hierophant. We have Taurus energy. There's something that happened in the past here, but I feel like um, the Hierophant is protected somebody here in the past but it's the king of wands man that was just like <laughs> that is serious thing here the hermit this person could be feeling someone in here is going is depressed someone in here might be also going to some type of mental health issues whenever this king of wands here so that's why so that okay so the justice system is blocking someone from communicate queen of swords here so like if you got if you know for instance i have a platform people are trying to black clear i got that but what you're gonna do there's the universe there's god you know god is the universe there's also this law here so let people do what they gotta do there's no point on fight it i feel like yeah people want to be happy about that but it is what it is what is the nine of swords king of cups yeah scorpio having some type of nightmare wow 
So this King of Cups, he is a nightmare. Okay, clarify the King of Cups, please. They have a nightmare, so they are ready to move on. So this person is going to move on. So whatever the justice system is trying to do someone here from getting their content out, from getting their stuff out so some is going to be everyone wish fulfillment wow we have the empress at the bottom nine of pentacles five of wands three of pentacles seven of pentacles let me get some advice please yeah This is not a falling star. This is not a falling star. That's just like the legal system is, is just doing, what do you call stronghold? They're just doing, you know, whatever they, you know, their power here. They're just using their power. That's what I'm hearing. May I have one card, please? For my lovely, beautiful Scorpio. Yeah, I have one advice for Scorpio. Yeah, this was a learning experience. So this was some type of karmic. It was supposed to be, it was supposed to happen. So I felt like you guys would be able, you know, because this is, there will be light shining on this situation. You guys will be fine. You guys will be, will be able to move forward here. So I feel like there's no need for you to stress about anything, you know, because you are in Earth Angels at the end of the day. That's what I'm hearing here. This is beautiful. You are in Earth Angels at the end of the day. You're still going to be fine. You're still going to be Earth Angel. You're not going to change what who you are is not going to change is unfortunately that you know people has to do whatever they have to do you know but nothing is going to change you are going to be fine all right scorpio i love you guys okay bye